chapter 7 of the program, uh, for illustrative purposes, I wanted to uh, uh, look at problem 22 on page 281 and try the best way to explain uh, what this linear pro uh, programming concept is all about. And again, in linear program, what we're trying to do, um, we're trying to determine the optimal output solution that will either maximize profits or minimize our expenses in acquiring resources. Problem 22 is dealing with the profit maximization. So for the first thing, when we're in queue into Windows, is we'll go to Modular, uh, Linear Programming, and we'll hit File, New, and it's asking us in this drop-down menu how many constraints we have. Well, from Problem 22, you can see we have subject to, those are constraints, one, two, three. The, the x, y is greater than zero simply means that the integers are z greater than zero. And of course, when we're dealing with linear programming, our integers must be greater than zero. So we have three, three constraints. And then it says the number of variables. Well, we have two variables, right? From the problem x and y. And our objective function here, as the problem points out, is to maximize. So we'll say OK. And then we can see x, and let's just change x1 to variable x, and come over here and change x2 to variable y. Uh, to maximize, um, it's telling us is that, in other words, uh, our net profit by selling one unit of x is 4 and $4 for selling, net profit that is, for selling uh, one unit of y, constraint 1, and we're just going to put that in. Uh, just copy that out of the book. Three, five, and then the total time or resources allocated to constraint one would be 150, less than or equal. When you see less than or equal sign, that's always dealing with the profit maximization. You can see we have a drop-down menu. Uh, if we were dealing with minimization, you would put in greater than. Uh, for constraint two, One. And then for y, it's going to be minus 2. Okay. And then the allocation is 10. And then for constraint 3, we have 5. And 3. And once again, the total allocation to that constraint would be 150. Everything is in, and we come up here and we solve it, and bingo, 1875, 1875. Then if you come down here, a uh, neat little feature uh, in Q into Windows is the graph. And there you can see the corner point solution. If you come over here, you can see, yes, we are making profits in this purple area. would be all combinations that we would have profits, but there's only one optimal solution and that is 1875 for X, producing 1875 for Y, with a profit of 150. And hopefully the, this kind of helps and illustrates it.